Am I... Am I crazy or does this look... Hey guys, so today's video is going to be me testing something out that I saw on TikTok. Now I've seen other people testing this as well. I am not the first to do this. Basically the way TikTok works, the way TikTok works, if you do, did not know, you'll see a video, it'll go semi-viral on TikTok and then people will like react to it and you can like hear it in the background. I sound like an 87 year old woman. Trust me, I know because I am one. I don't understand TikTok. <laughs> I have posted a TikTok and it did actually pretty freaking well. I was really excited about that. Anyway, I am going to be testing out this viral TikTok that I saw. Basically the video is a gal and she's talking about makeup hacks and it's about how to do your foundation to have it last longer. Now I've seen other people reacting to this and testing it out and trying it. The thing about TikTok is they're one minute long so you really don't get an update on how these things actually work long term. So today I'm gonna test that out for you. This is the TikTok right here and it is by a user named Rita Matt. Listen to me, I'm literally as old as anyone's ever works. I shall be trying it on me and letting you know if it works. So I'm gonna do half of my face with this technique today and I'm gonna be using the other half of my face the way I would normally do it. And then we're gonna see how it does. It is already 2.14 in the evening. I'm probably gonna realistically have this makeup on for eight hours, I would say. So we can at least give it a fair test to see if each side looks different. If you know, what have you. So I'm gonna tell you the way I normally do my makeup is that I literally just moisturize foundation. I don't set with powder. I don't do anything. I just do moisturize foundation, concealer, and then just go. I really don't like to set with powder because I have dry skin and I just find that I like the movability. I also like the glow that it brings when I don't use any sort of a powder to set it with. I also don't really believe in primer. I know that a lot of people are probably gasping right now. I just don't believe in it. I think it's a gimmick. I've never noticed a difference when I've used any primer. The only primer I've really ever kind of noticed a difference with is the Milk Hydro Grip. Even that isn't like life-changingly different. I don't know. I just find that primer is sort of just like an extra step. It doesn't seem to hold my makeup any longer. It doesn't seem to make my makeup look better. It's just kind of like there. First things first, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, well, then you're a hurtful bitch. Moisturize first. Moisturize first. I'm gonna use my normal moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Water Cream, and I am just going to moisturize my entire face with this because this is what I would normally do on both sides. I saw Laura Lee testing this out on TikTok. It looked like she liked the results at the end. And I just, I would love to see what it looks like in comparison, you know? I'm gonna have both of the TikToks linked in the description of this video so you guys can go check them out to see. Okay, face is moisturized. What's next? The next. So normally I would just let this sink in for a few minutes and then I would just go directly into foundation. So we're gonna go in with a translucent powder. The left side of my face, but your guys' right, is going to be the side that we're doing for the TikToks. This side here will be TikTok. So I'm gonna take a little translucent powder. We're gonna set the face, not too much, okay. Okay, this side is now fully set. This side, you can see, still has some shininess. This side does not. It's pretty dry first. So now we're gonna go in with setting spray, and then I'm gonna put a primer over top of this, apparently. So I'm gonna do setting spray. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've got it right here in front of me. Okay, wait for that to dry. I feel like Jackie Ina does something like this. Maybe she powders her skin after moisturizer and then puts foundation on. I don't know about this whole setting spray and primer situation, but for some reason my mind is telling me that I feel like Jackie does this. Okay, setting spray and then primer. All right, so this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm gonna use a little bit of that. So I've got primer. It's really sticky with milk. You see that compared to my normal? It doesn't stick at all. This side. We are ready. So for foundation, I'm gonna use one that I know how it performs. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is 
one of my favorite foundations that exists, if not my ultimate favorite. And I'm going to apply it to my skin first on the other side so that I'm not, you know, messing it up too much, just how I normally would. Man, TikTok took over the world. Can you guys believe it? I've seen some cringy ass shit on TikTok, but I've also seen some of the funniest things. It's just one of those apps, man. The TikToks that really just cringe me out the most are the ones where people are like pointing at things and then they're like, like <laughs> biting their lip, trying to look all sexy. And it's like, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Anybody trying to be sexy by biting their lip though will automatically send me into a full body shiver. <sighs> really, you gonna mow your lawn right now? I mean, it is two o'clock on a Sunday, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, so foundation is on that side of the face. This is a very, very light foundation. This is the shade MN2. I'm trying to more match my neck though, because you know, sometimes I can go a little too dark. I'm gonna put a little more coverage down here because this is where a lot of my redness is. But I actually feel like this does match my neck pretty well. All right, let's see about the other side. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm really fascinated to see if this does last longer, if it is really honestly that much better, if it just overall makes my skin look better. I don't really have that big of a problem with my foundations not staying on anyway. I feel like just when I treat it like normal, it just sort of lasts all day either way. Does it look drier than my other side? I feel like it looks worse. Maybe I just need to get it all the way in there, but I feel like it's, I don't know more textured, drier. Oh, for sure. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm gonna turn the lights down. This side, this looks kind of like my normal skin, you know? But this side, can you see that? Ooh, it looks way more textured and I didn't like put more foundation or anything on it. Maybe it'll last longer, but as of right now, I like the way this looks way more than the way that. That looks like, am I, am I crazy or does this look? So off of first impression of doing this technique, it looks so much more cakey on this side. I didn't use more foundation or anything. I use the exact same application technique. It just to me looks very dry and just almost thicker. And you can see more texture on this side right here. On my forehead, it definitely looks more textured. I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe when the rest of my foundation is on, it won't be so bad and it'll just all melt in together. And maybe it will make it last so much longer that it is worth the beginning part of this step. But do keep in mind that it is taking from a moisturizer and a foundation, two products on this side to moisturizer, powder, spray, primer, foundation. So it takes it from two products on this side to five products on this side. So I don't know, we shall see. My nose is looking a little icky, so I'm gonna put a little more foundation on it on both sides just to make sure that it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna give this the best chance that I can. All right, and now it's time to finish the rest of the face. And like I said before, I typically do not set my face with a powder. Sometimes I might use a tiny little bit on my under eyes. Today, for the sake of this video, I am not going to be setting either side of my face with powder. I wanna see how this performs with the base underneath. Yeah, I can just, this side is so much cakier looking. She looks so much less like skin. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll zoom you in and turn the lights down. But I'm almost having some, see it's like wanting to remove the makeup right here. Can you guys tell? It's almost like coming up, whereas on this side I feel like it's just blending like normal. This side wants to like almost pull up the product. If I could just pinpoint what that might be from, I feel like it's from the powder and liquid products. Powders and liquids, generally you would put like your cream liquid products down first, and then you're gonna put your powders on top because then if you put a liquid or cream product on top of that, generally it starts to break apart or pick up that product or it starts to create these little spots where the where you can see almost the product like breaking down. That's what happens. So I am noticing that around this area quite a bit. We'll see.
Okay, now I'm just gonna toss a bit of mascara on and that's gonna be the look for today. Very simple, easy. Doesn't have to be crazy because it's all about the skin today. After they're done, if you weren't paying super close attention to my face, like if you weren't like inspecting my face, you wouldn't really be able to tell, but I'm gonna wear it throughout the day today and see kind of what we are working with as far as does it work to actually keep my makeup on. It is 2.48 p.m. right now, so I am going to wear it throughout the day and I will let you guys know if this hack actually works or if at the end of the day, both sides look very similar, if one looks cakier, as of right now, I'm gonna turn the lights down and show you guys up close after all the makeup is on, but I definitely think you'll probably agree with me. Camera sometimes is really hard to see. So this is the side without the hacks. This is the side with. I'm gonna change the lighting one more time. Without. All right, well, I will see you guys in a few hours and I'm gonna do some check-ins and natural lighting so you guys can see the difference and maybe that will show you a little bit better. So that's why I turn the lights down and that's why I show you in natural lighting because I want you to see what it actually looks like on skin, which is very difficult to do via cameras. So I will see you guys in a little bit. This is in natural lighting. <laughs> Even this like makes me look like so flawless. I mean, God. <laughs> uh, let's zoom me in, see if you can see any texture. Oh wow, good autofocus here, amazing. So here's the side without the hacks. Here's the side with. All right, I think we can see a little better in this lighting. Without. With. Do you see what I mean? This side is like, all right, it's pretty good. This side just cake. Okay, I'm gonna see if Zach can tell a difference. Which side of my face skin looks better? <laughs> Your face skin, huh? Um, we'll turn. Turn the other way. That's it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What about it looks better? Let me see, turn it again. Turn it again. Mm, it looks more even and like smooth, I guess. I don't know. All right, so the verdict is in. Zach likes the side that was not done with the TikTok hack. So it is 7.30 right now, so it's been about five hours. And here's what we're looking at. Here's the side without. This is just foundation and moisturizer. This is the side with the hack. This area is particularly looking bad. I don't know what that is. It looks really dry. See? So far, I'm gonna say I would not do it, but that's more or less because it just seems like absolutely pointless. This side of my face does look better. I don't know if you can see, especially far away. This side just looks textured and cakey. Maybe not for me. <laughs> Maybe for somebody else though. I could see, you know, if you have really, really oily skin. I have dry skin, so this trick just maybe seems like it doesn't work for all skin types, but maybe it works for yours. Longevity and stuff like that, they have both seemed to wear the same. Nothing looks exponentially better. All I can say is maybe this does work if you have oily skin or if you're somebody where you notice that your makeup tends to slide around a lot more. I'm gonna say for me, this is a pass, but that is no shade to whoever does like this technique or finds this useful. There are people out there that have been doing this and love this technique and just set, swear by setting your moisturizer with a powder. Not everything works for everybody and not everybody has the same preferences. So no shade, I have no issues if people love that. It's just not for me. So I say try it for yourself if you are interested, but probably don't go out and buy a bunch of products to try it yourself. The products that she recommended in the TikTok are very 
inexpensive anyway, generally. Like she's using the NYX spray and Fit Me powder. So those are generally less expensive products anyway. So can't hurt to try and it might work well for you. For me, it's a pass. We are done testing the TikToks for today, the vir viral TikTok. <laughs> As he is editing this video, he can't stop laughing at me and showing me clips of the grandpa from The Simpsons because apparently that's what I sound like, so. It all started back in 1952. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a viral TikTok. You know what, hurtful ass bitch. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if there are any more TikTok hacks you guys want me to try with makeup or otherwise. Uh, send them my way. If you see any that you guys like, you can tag me, you can send them to me on Twitter, you can send them to me on TikTok. Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know much about the TikTok talk. Or if there's any other makeup tutorials or looks that you guys want me to try, anything that you've seen that you've wanted to see tested out but you don't really wanna do yourself, I'm happy to try it for you. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Hello, hello. I just spit. I don't know. Okay, off of first impression. Another one. Here's about to be another one. Moving day cannot come soon enough. Really, bro? Really? <laughs> you know what, old lady? Get out of here. Okay. Go put your onion belt on. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And, well, that's it for this video. Let me know if there's... Well, I already said this in the end. Okay, well, fuck. Thank God. <laughs> oh, my God.